and I'm your host, Marvelous Mplanga Nyahuye. And uh, today on Live Talk, we're discussing the rampant corruption in Zimbabwe following a report that the Zimbabwe Anti-Corruption Commission, ZEC, is investigating controversial businessman Wiknel Chivayo and his accomplices. They are being investigated for a $40 million tender allegedly awarded to them by the Zimbabwe Electoral Commission fraudulently. The Zimbabwe Electoral Commission was not immediately available for comment. Speaking on the sidelines of the judges swearing in ceremony, the Zimbabwe Anti-Corruption Commission ZAC chairperson Michael Reza confirmed that his organization has indeed launched an investigation into the corruption charges against Wikina Uchivayo and his accomplices. <laughs> Do pataka zona pana jaku taurika, shoko chitaka wana utishaka kuzi, kuti tibe idzwa na tini yato abvunza, kuti nyayo ili kutengira kupi ichienda kupi, ajai gona kuti tingoti, pango tarwanzi ndaka kupamari, tewata tu sunga ivan kwete, kuti moja shau na familia kuti idzira, saka dosha tanga taka mirira, saka zubiri tazama statementa wana utaa, kwa jaa kwa jaa shika. Evidence ya muri kwa hapa hii, ino kodzera. Kutitina ya zera na wacho yese, waruku menishengwa hapa. Mbawe, watitana nguriri, chukua na peku changira. Ndoo patawa, saka hiko jino, shoko, raka famba, chino tarisira. Kutibacha uya, kana wasi nakuya, chino enda kwa vari. Mbawe, wanti wanani, mshidimu? Eee, pana Mike Chumombe, Moses Mpofu, na wiki nilochifai. Ndoo wane, Mike Chumombe, na Mosisi mpofu Vane document Na waka burita Wiki ni uchivayo Ane odi ya waka burita Saka chuda kuwa kufunza kutipa kitsa nangurire Kuti apa vairewe Ukuo kubairewe Kutu wana pia kutangire Shuviro yedu Ndiye kutipa kato ya kananasi Pasca terodoh tu zat mana, orang orang ini semua semua dah kui ta, cunungo, cunor kuda, macam yang dah itu evan. Kunjung kau muna, acin zat ni mosa ya kapar, asal ni kuda zat zaki, zat cunor respect awo, saka, ati nak kuapa ten millimeter, asisis, cunet ten millimeter ed, ya budi tika shikam suah kati, rasa nak kuiya, cengke tu cunor di, cengke itu se, asal ni gain di ti, jesse jin. That there was the Zimbabwe Anti-Corruption Commission, ZEC Chairperson Michael Reza, speaking to Studio 7 in Harare. Now back to our main topic of the day. The Zimbabwe Anti-Corruption Commission, ZEC, says it has launched an investigation into businessman Wik Chivayo and ZANU-PF-linked businessman Mike Chimombe and Moses Mpofu over a murky Zimbabwe Electoral Commission ZEC US 40 million tender. Speaking on the sidelines of a judge's swearing in ceremony in Harare, ZEC uh, chairperson Michael Reza told Studio 7 that his organization has reached out to the three and are awaiting for them to avail themselves for questioning, failure of which they will legally bring them in for questioning. Also involved in the deal is Mavuku Tafara, legislator, Pedisai Scott, Sakupanya's company, Better Brands Security, which was used to sign the deal that exposed the corruption with Rainform, a South African-based company. There was no immediate comment from the accused four gentlemen. To discuss this issue, we are joined via Skype by Masimba Mavaza of ZANU-PF. We also have Tawanda Jokora, an opposition-aligned political analyst and social analyst and researcher Tendai Mbofana. Welcome to the program, gentlemen. Good evening, Mike. Thank you, Marvelous. Thank you, Muriel Zimbabwe. Thank you. Thank you so much. I'll start off with you, uh, Mr. Ma uh, Mavaza, who's on Skype. What is your take on the announcement by the Zimbabwe Electoral Commission that they will be investigating Chivayo and the others? The announcement is quite a welcome uh, 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 development. Um, after the audios and the documents which were flying all over, in our country and in the social media, it was imperative that action has to be taken. But uh, as what the chairman of Zaket said, that we could not act on a single uh, 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 piece of audio because it's what he says. If there is not enough evidence to even call the person to 
a hearing or to question it. We don't question to arrest. We 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 don't in, we we don't arrest to investigate. So there was no need for uh, them to be arrested before the investigation. So what Zach has done is uh, literally following the law, inviting them to come to Zach for questioning and for investigations. And if the investigations can yield more evidence, which shows that uh, there was corruption in their deals, then they'll be arrested. Yes, they've raised an issue of uh, uh, Zach and uh, buying equipment, which is worth £4,000 and uh, paying £1 million pounds for a £4,000 equipment. That has to be looked into. If that is what happened, indeed, they will have to answer for that. And uh, uh, whoever had caused that in, uh, inflating of prices and the purpose for doing that, and those in ZEC, if they were, uh, 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 their complacence to such um, uh, criminality, it cannot go un- un- unquestioned. So the buyer for ZEC and these people and whoever said what he, what he said, they should definitely be uh, answerable and they should be responsible for what they've done. So it's actually, we, we applaud uh, Zach for taking action quickly. We would have hoped probably the CID frauds would have jumped in it, but um, it is important that we have to tread softly in issues of fraud, because if you rush to please the people, you lose the evidence. So what they have done is very, very good, it's very correct, and um, they will go to the bottom of the case, and Zimbabwe will be seeing... Uh, people being arrested if indeed there are crimes or being let go if there's no crime committed. I'll come over to you, Mr. Jokora. Do you think anything will come out of this investigation as critics fear that this will be a catch and release? What's your thinking on this? Definitely not. Uh, we don't expect anything to come out of uh, this. Uh, this is uh, what ZANU-PF does when they are in a tight corner. When they are praised, uh, they do something uh, like what they are doing right now. Uh, It's it's just going to be this and that, and then they get uh, to talk to them, maybe put them uh, in remand prison for a few days, and then they are released. We have seen this movie over and over again. That's the reason why there is not even one person uh, who is in jail because of corruption in Zimbabwe. Yet we are losing billions of dollars every year uh, through corruption, but no one has ever been uh, convicted. And I'm, I'm surprised um, Mr. Mawaza is saying that the police in Zimbabwe, you know, arrest, uh, uh, investigate, and then arrest. This is not what they do when it is opposition members. We saw Honorable Job Scala uh, being investigated while he was in jail being investigated while it had already been uh, arrested. These people should have been in jail a long time ago. And uh, one other point to note is in the audios, we had about four, four individuals that are involved in all this. Now they are only talking about three individuals. Mr. Mnangagwa is mentioned. Uh, he is involved fully involved in what has been happening in those audios. So we hope uh, that Zach will also reach out to him and hear his side of the story while he has been relating in his relationship uh, with uh, Wick Neotivayo. We have seen them together. Uh, We have uh, seen them talking. We have seen them in his office. Uh, And now we are hearing of all these uh, corrupt deals. And they are all leading to Mr. Mnangagwa. Just like uh, the, uh, the, the gold mafia, Mr. Mnangagwa's name was mentioned so many times. And we thought that Zach was going to come in and question everyone who was uh, mentioned in those uh, corrupt cases or corrupt deals. Nothing materialized. Nothing happened. So now we hope uh, that uh, everyone who was involved in these corrupt deals will be asked. We are also interested in knowing how Mr. Sakupanya, who was a candidate in Mavuku, ended up being a supplier of the same voting materials that he was supposed to be using. We, 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 we want everything out. Thank you there, uh, Mr. Zokora. I'll come to you now, Mr. Mbofana. Uh, you have just uh, joined the program. What's your take on what we're seeing developing? Uh, we're hearing from Zach that they have uh, launched an investigation um, against uh, Mr. Wickney Chuvayo and some of his uh, business partners. What's your take? 
Uh, thank you so much, Marvelous. Um, my take is that this is just one of those games, I'm sorry to call them games, that we've witnessed from the Zimbabwe Anti-Corruption Commission for the past uh, uh, couple of years. We have seen this, is what we've come to call now the catch and release, especially when it relates to very high government officials, well, ruling Zano PF officials, or those linked to these high-ranking officials. We remember of the case of Priscam Fumira, the ex uh, who was alleged to have uh, looted 90 million U.S. dollars from NASA. We also had Dexter Nduna, the former MP for Chegutu, who had been uh, charged for allegedly prospecting for minerals without a license, with the Messias Chombo for abusing power. But none of these people have ever been convicted of any crime. They just, we just hear this furor, this noise, this excitement over uh, Zek, you know, uh, arresting these people, but nothing ever comes out of it. So for me personally, I, I wouldn't be excited about this uh, recent move by Zach to, 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 to investigate uh, uh, Mike Chimombe and Moses Mpofu and Whitney Otivayo. For me, what it just shows is that those in high, in, in, in high offices in government were short, sort of shocked because, uh, and unnerved because of the, the, the audio that circulated uh, uh, last week, uh, ostensibly by, by Whitney Otivayo, in which he was exposing uh, even the presidency it, it, it itself for, for being involved in, in shady deals. So that, I think, is the motive behind this. It, I think that is just being used as a tool to just punish or just shake the value a bit, but I don't think anything will come out of it. Mm -hmm. uh, let's also remember that this letter that was written by Shimombe and Mpofu was written about two weeks ago. We never heard not even a single word that was uttered by the Zimbabwe Anti-Corruption Commission uh, as far as this $40 million deal with the Zimbabwe Electoral Commission was concerned. Nothing, not a single word. Only when this audio by Chivayo, or allegedly by Chivayo, went viral, did we now, do we now see uh, the Zimbabwe Anti-Corruption Commission doing something? Maybe now because those in government are now attacking Chivayo from Zano PF Youth, from Nick Mangwana, George Charamba, and everyone else, because now they are attacking Chivayo for exposing the president. Is, is the Zimbabwe Anti-Corruption Commission so, showing some interest in the issue? But to me, this is just a political grandstanding. I do not think anything will come out of it. Thank you so much. Tinem Tereri Variparu Nare. Hello, Tereri Makadi Yenyu. I watched it. What did you say? Nani, we have a more copium for Matipa Fungwa Zenyu. We have I don't know Tombo ya kwa muriva mavaza Mr. Mavaza Tukuona kuti vanu ava varimunya ya i Vanu ve batu renyureza no PF e, Takanzu wa maodio umuvachi vayo vachita ora iwo kuti Vakabata mtunga miri wenyika kuti G e, Uyeshe tukuona uti parishino Paru kuita ongepani makakatanu wa mbatu renyureza no PF Kutinye ya i yobatu wa se Tunonzu wa uko wa mangwana vachita ora ojimwe wa e, George Arambo vachita ora ojimwe Vachita vachita ora ojimwe Jaka mira se Paris no juru kufambiswa se imbatoreni. Thank you, Mev. Chaku tanga Mev. Chaku ti wa chivayo na wa chimombe. Awasi wa tunga miri ni mbatoreni za UPF. Bati giri we msangano. Asi awasi nengo te msangano. Taka zomane nga wachita kunze uko. Kuita kwao patiru ajojina. Azine ni msangano za UPF. Awasi kuita on behalf of za UPF. Kana wachite wa para mosha. Awana kupara mosa, bati para pa msoro pe zanu pf. Taka kutimundu, ane ukama ne zanu pf. Azite kutibatorese, vivaranzi ranyangajwa. Nekuda kwe munu, anungo titigira. Kune wanu waka wanda, kwa rotera na Voice of America. Ana watike wa batu kwa waba, azure ni Voice of America irukuba. Kune wanu waka wanda, wanu wanufari wa ibi, wana, wana toba simafumo, wana mtu kuzi, wanu wacho matoto, wanyaru kujeri. 
Azure kuti muno ano farira na yeo aru kujika na o a uchotu hao. Saka tika cha sanya eto na uti wano kune wa zinji wa ruku gomeka wa ruku kweta ruja ne kuko pembera wa jifunga kuti zoe wana ngwarati. Ase aewa. Zanu piefa ina ku ahisu kwa nikwa ili momu nya eze hori. Zanu piefa ahisi rio inutunga miri la badole Zimbabwe Electoral Commission. Zanu piefa ahisi rio zakari inutunga miri la eh, badole zaki. Eh, Zanu piefa zakari aitunga miri la mapurisa. Ringo ribato rinikutonga mapato ese pema eh, eh, chonge lwe ika. Ana simba pa msoro pema parume pezipoka uze urumende. Chudenge chiga tirisa unu. Chakenda se tema purisa, zaki, ze, kwese kogo. Akutongwe ne mapatu alo emazeze matenge rejika. Chaka akuna, ilikune tamzani pefu. Akuna dabu ziku. Ehe, ukama wawachi wawe na president. Uro titosore imbichana. Nekuti, tinenge takuketa aiwa. E, president wanga wae zanipa wanugona. Kuti wana lechidiki uya indi batirei. Tiwone kuti nyike asimu kina. Asipa kazi toho nina nina, nundira mtisime, tawachiwa yu. E, Wanengo wazutaka wakita uzo, makura ma, 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 msoro, nekuta kwe mariza wa piyo kutuwaite basa. Wobira urumende, urumaru woko, rinukua pachikafu. Atinga shore, amu pachikafu arumaru woko, tino shore arikuruma. Taka nikata sapanya hii, hakuna kana mashoko, enyangazo, angadai, angaiskwa, pamiripe mtuka miru wenyika. Nekuti haana chaka ita, Chaka chaka tadza. Aka heza kubatisira wana wema biznisi kutinyika hini kudirire. Chaka wema biznisi kana waka zotora mukana weku pira mbatiri wawo. E, Dio, wa, kana oti, it is on them. Dio mm. wano kubatisi. Thank you so much, uh, Mr. Mavaza. Regate mbo pao vajo kora murku nzuwa shukuta orwa e, na mama vaza. E, Taka nzuwa vachifaye vachita ora imu momu ma uh, audio. Avaru kura mba iwo kutavasi rivo vachiti waka bata kuti G. E, tunga miru enyika. Imi muno ona sii. Shwaka itika iju uye jenezo ata orwa na, mava, na mama vaza. Mungo ti gaga kutipo vambo fana mkana. Aywa. Aywa. Nyi, nyika. E, wamna ngagwa, Zanu PF, nima ministers akawanda mu Zanu PF, akabatwa kunzi G, nemba va, zakawandi sa Zimbabwe zinosanga nisira vati vayo. Vama waza, wariku ya pano, vatida kuwanda, ni munwe, e, kutanda nyazi kwa wariku ita uku, vota ura kuti wamna ngagwa, vaida ku batira ma yuti kuti awane marika na kuti awane upenyu wakanaka. Aye wa mkuru enyika, anu siti mkuru enyika, abatire ma yuti, atichikora mtemo wenyika. Vati, vati vayo, apana asinga shizive, kutivanga watu wana matenda, shisiri pa mtemo, e, matenda, acho asina kutezera wa zaganyoro, wa mpumbiro re mtemo wedu e, wenyika ya e Zimbabwe, ye kuwana matenda. Vayo wa wana, nekutiva nenga wano garamu office, na wamu nangagwa, matayo wa wana wari, mangwana acho, wona wapi watenda toda kutozwa kare pavari kutawara wama vaza vataure kuti iye akaburita mari 1 milioni ya ita roma odio muya me 5 milioni ya hizo tera Aka, ano to zikanwa the minister akato sainira izozo ni mapema ni secretary aka sainira izozo vani wose iva avo raida ya vato taurwa nezo avo nezaki ya vato taura kuti izozi vato kuzeki vato kuzaki vato kuto bunzgwa teku bunzuruzwa kuchaitu kwa wamwewe sawa hakuna anufana kusara na hivyo wa muna angagwa wacho anufana kubunzgwa kuti saka famba sei ukama wavo ukama chaio chaio wavo na wawiki na ujuvayo waka mira sei tinotenda mira papi tinotenda vajokora vambo fana motipa wa maonero enyu mova matipa wa kuti what do you think is the way forward the way forward marvelous the kuti mutemo nga uti kino jesem zimabwe should be done according to the laws of the country so yaza kawo wapa sangoti nga wati vayo mumvura mu, mu, ino pisa leke kuti unazo ta ura chokwa liti sanga shipi kangu ya sisi ya kuti odi wati vayo ndati na nare awana kuhi reko da wati da kuzo ipa kune wani kuti tere na ewana wezi kwa shiriku itika wala iti shawari kuta ura shiriku itika in secret in private saka munika nasi ratita shawari in private aru kuta ura chokwa li mm-hmm. na asu kuna kunye 
Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Mr. Mbofana. Thank you. Thank you so much. In opposition politics, some youth of the opposition Triple C had their meeting disrupted by police in Chinoy today. This follows an arrest in Harare of 78 members of the same party yesterday. One of the lawyers representing the arrested Triple C members, Marufu Mandevere, says some of his clients have been hospitalized after alleged police brutality. The members were arrested while commemorating International Youth Day at the home of one of their leaders. Mandevele explains what happened so far in this case. That there was one of the lawyers representing 78 Triple C members, Marufu Mandevere, in Harare. In Harare, again, Chief Justice Luke Malaba presided in the swearing in ceremony of 10 judges to the High Court of Zimbabwe. Law Society of Zimbabwe President Rumbi Zai Matambo said her organization was concerned about the low ratio of women sworn in today as judges. Three out of the 10 judges were women. Uh, I think out of 12, three, three female judges is a bit discouraging. Uh, we would really like to see more women coming onto the bench and we would like to see more women offering themselves. We understand this is a service, this is a sacrifice, but uh, it would really help with gender balance and gender equality if we do get more female judges on the bench. And we shall certainly be encouraging our female lawyers to equip themselves and offer themselves up for the next round of judges. That was the Law Society of Zimbabwe President Rumbi Zaima Tambo in Harare. Let's take a look at what is happening here in the United States. Former President Donald Trump, the presumptive Republican nominee for president, says people are voting illegally in U.S. elections, including immigrants. One California city is moving to impose voter ID rules that violate state voting laws. Genia Dulot has the story. Picturesque Huntington Beach is known as Surf City, USA, but its political notoriety in this election year is over a local ordinance requiring photo ID before in-person voting. Mayor Gracie Van Der Mark says it reflects citizens' concerns about election integrity. You can't even go see your doctor without an ID, but the most important thing in our country is our, elect, elect, um, our election system because every single thing we do is determined by politicians and who we put in office. Our lives are dictated by who we put in office and then they start legislating so we want to make sure that our the integrity of our elections is protected. Non-citizen voting is a political issue in this presidential campaign. In Arizona last week Donald Trump accused Joe Biden of allowing immigrants to cross the Mexican border to illegally vote for him in November. 
Somebody's going to explain to us why they would want this to happen. I guess it's probably votes. There is no evidence that non-citizens vote in significant numbers in the U.S. elections. Most U.S. voters confirm identifying information when they check in to vote, but they're not required to show identification. Huntington Beach Council member Dan Kalmick opposes the voter ID measure and says it reflects his city's more conservative shift. Well, voter ID is for in-person voting, but only 15% of the city voted by mail, voted in person in the last election. What problem are we trying to solve? We're trying to solve for a thousand people that are going to vote in person. Again, it just proves that it's political. It's not a. There's not actually a problem that we're trying to solve here. California has its own voting laws, and the state is suing Huntington Beach over a measure Attorney General Rob Bonta says adversely impacts low-income voters, voters of color, young or elderly voters, and people with disabilities. Charlie Zabla is an immigrant who owns a local Mediterranean restaurant. He says the voter ID measure does not discriminate. Oh, just because you're poor doesn't mean you don't have a driver license or you cannot obtain a driver license. Oakview Comunidad is a non-profit group working to narrow the social, cultural, health and economic gap in Huntington Beach. Co-founder Oscar Rodriguez says the law will suppress voter turnout in lower-income neighborhoods. You're confusing people and so when people are already having low voter turnout, it may be because of childcare, having multiple jobs, because they don't trust the system. And then you're adding an additional layer of voter ID, then that kind of confuses people and it may turn away people to come out to the polls and vote. City leaders say they're ready to fight the state over voter IDs for local elections. Those legal challenges will take the case beyond this November's vote, when the state voting laws will remain in effect here. Jenya Dulo, VOA News, Huntington Beach, California. Thank you, Jenya. And that brings us to the end of our show. We'd like to take this opportunity to thank our guest, Mr. Masimba Mavas of Zano PF, Tawanda Jokora, a political analyst aligned to the opposition. And also, uh, we had our final guest, Mr. Mbofana, signing off in Washington. Our marvelous Mthanganyahuye.